Well, this is actually the first time that I think anyone has tried a 4K 360-degree uh, camera on the inside of a densitous crab trap. So let's uh, be the first and see what science wrought. For several years, I worked with both National Geographic and Discovery on something called critter cams. Now we put cameras on Weddell seals in the Antarctic. We put cameras on sharks in the Galapagos. But now, now we're trying to put these small cameras on crabs. For the past 10 years, I've used my vessel, the Pacific Odyssey, to study a wide variety of marine life, marine organisms, in the Pacific Northwest. Okay, look at the fish coming in there. The Dungeness crab has a long history in the area, which was harvested by the indigenous peoples long before the Europeans came. Its harvest is incredibly large, measuring more than about 30% of the crab catch in the Pacific Northwest. A lot of it is recreational crabbing, about 10 to 15%, the rest of it commercial. My concern is we're using this resource, we're harvesting the resource, but we know really little about its actual biology, its habitat, its food preferences. Yes, we have some ideas from logs, from records, but I like to use technology to determine what these crabs are doing. We're actually turning the crabs into the actors themselves. In other words, we're mounting cameras onto the crab, tiny cameras, high definition cameras, about the size of your thumb, and we're letting the crab let us explore not only its environment, but its food preferences and its interaction with other crabs. We're going one step further because now with technology, we can use 4K, ultra high resolution, 360 degree cameras mounted on these Dungeness crab to give us an incredible view of not only their behavior, but their activities. One of the ideas or one of the things that we can find out with the traps is we can actually document the number of female versus males, undersized crabs, male-female ratio. And now by using the video, we can determine who is the dominant crab coming in. Does a male crab attract the females? Does the females follow the male in? Is the escape hatches on the trap significant so we can view the small crabs to ensure their survival? So all of these questions could be answered by well-documented high-resolution underwater video. And by using these cameras on trap, we get a better idea of population densities. We get an idea of movements of crabs during certain seasons, during certain periods. Having this information will greatly enhance the ability to adequately control and protect the entire population. Our goal in this research, using high technology to document the underworld, and specifically in this case, the Dungeness crab, is to provide both the Department of Fisheries as well as other scientists uh, the ability to make prudent judgments. So we're looking for support in the area, we're looking for encouragement, but our job then is really to make the public aware of this very valuable resource and expensive resource and to control that resource and ensure its longevity is extremely important.